Hey y'all, this lesson is on synthetic division and synthetic division is really useful when you are trying to solve polynomials. So when you're looking for factors of the polynomials or the x-intercepts of a polynomial, synthetic division is a great way to do that. You can also use long division, but I just really like synthetic division. I think it's a lot mm, cleaner. So the synthetic division uses one of the x-intercepts or one of the factors to help break down the polynomial into something smaller. And you can keep using uh, these factors or these zeros to break it down into something that basically you can either factor or use the quadratic formula on, depending on how big the polynomial was to start with. So you're using k, which is one of the zeros, as a divisor. And then you're using your polynomial to kind of set up this table, basically. And I have a picture here of the table. And it says that it's asking us to divide this polynomial by x minus k. So basically, we're trying to see if x minus k is a factor of the polynomial. If it's a factor, then it's 0 is one of our solutions. For x minus k to be a factor, then the zero that we're looking at would be k. Don't get lost in the letters. Over here, if I reword that, if k, that looks kind of like an x, but it's a k, is a zero or an x-intercept or a root, then x minus k was the factor because what we have started with is k was the solution. So in order to have that solution, we had to have added k over to that side. So if I work my way backwards, that would have been x minus k as the factor. So all that to say, if you're starting with the factor, then you need to figure out what zero we're using for synthetic division. Then when you set up your little table, you use your coefficients of the polynomial when the polynomial is written in descending order. So A, B, C, D. You bring down your first coefficient and you multiply down, write the product up, add. Multiply down, write the product up, add. Multiply down, write the product up, add. And so it kind of creates this down up thing, but it's, it's really pretty cool. And if the remainder is zero, then it divides evenly, which indicates that it is a solution. It is a factor. Uh, like if six divides by two evenly, then two is a factor of six. So let's go to an example here. Uh, if it's a factor, the remainder is zero. We have uh, use synthetic division to determine if the following is a factor or not. In this first example, I have x minus 3. Is x minus 3 a factor of x squared plus 2x minus 15? Now, this is a simple quadratic, so we could probably just factor this, but I want to use it to show you synthetic division. For x minus 3 to be a factor, then that means that x has to equal 3 add three to both sides. So I'm gonna use that to set up my synthetic division. I've got three inside this little box, and then I have the coefficients of my polynomial written in descending order from the exponents. One x squared minus two x minus 15. And I have this line down here, I have another line here, and what this is setting up is this will be my remainder. If the remainder is zero, then x minus three is a factor. I'm gonna bring down my first coefficient and then I'm multiplying down three times one is three, then add down negative two plus three is one. Whoops, three, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. And then, you know what? I made a mistake. This is a plus. So that would have been a mess. Make sure 
when you're setting up your coefficients that you use the correct signs on those numbers or you're gonna have a problem like I just did. And two plus three is five. Then multiply down, that's 15. Negative 15 plus 15 is zero. This is my remainder. Which means that x minus three divided evenly, and that indicates that it is a factor. Yes, x minus three is a factor. And its other factor is this right here. This is called a reduced polynomial. And these are the coefficients of your reduced polynomial. We divided x squared by x. So this is 1x plus 5. We're just taking it down a power. And I found my other factor. So x squared plus 2x minus 15 factors into x minus 3, x plus 5. Then we could go on, set it equal to 0, and solve. But that's not the point of this lesson. Next example, I have x plus, is x plus 5 a factor of this polynomial? So in my box, I'm going to do negative 5 and then take the coefficients. It's already written in descending order. Make sure your signs are correct. I will say, I don't think I have an example like this. Yeah, I do on the next one. Never mind. Uh, bring down the one. Multiply down. Product goes here. Add. Multiply down. Product goes here. Add. Multiply down, project goes here, add, remainder is zero. Yay. So since the remainder is zero, that indicates that x plus five is a factor. And the reduced polynomial, we started with x to the third. So the reduced polynomial goes down a power because we've divided by an x. So it reduces it down. 1x squared minus x minus 2. So we can write this as x plus 5 times x squared minus x minus 2. Now we could keep going and we could use synthetic division again to break it down further, but we can use we can also just use our factoring skills or quadratic formula. And we're looking for factors of negative 2 to add to negative 1. And there you go. So this is factored form of this. And now I have 1, 2, 3 factors, which makes sense because it is x to the third. Isn't that fun? I love synthetic division. I think it's so nice and neat. Last example here is x plus one a factor of x squared minus one. Now this is the one that I was about to talk about in the previous example, it skips x. So we're going to have to write a placeholder for that skipped piece. We want to write it in descending order, including the, the terms that it skips. So inside my box, I have negative one because x plus one equal to zero, we get negative one is the uh, zero. And then my coefficients are one, zero, negative one. I want you to pause it, try it, and come back, see if you get the same thing that I get. Hopefully you brought down the one, multiplied up, added, multiplied again, added. This is our remainder, which means that x plus one is a factor. And we can also see that the other factor, we have the coefficients of the other factor. Since we started with x squared, 
we've reduced it down by one power. This is one X minus one. So X squared minus one factors into X plus one x minus one, which is true. It's a difference of two squares. And if we used our factoring skills, we would get that. Isn't that so neat? So if you have trouble with factoring, this is a different way to factor, kind of. It's more than that, but you can use it. And then lastly, um, just a kind of reminder, when a polynomial is in standard form, the y-intercept is the constant term of the polynomial. If you're graphing, uh, this ha doesn't have to do with synthetic division, but if you're graphing and you're looking for the x-intercepts, you can use synthetic division to break down into factors to find the x-intercepts, and then you can also see the y-intercept from standard form. That's all I have for synthetic division. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'd be happy to help.